All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba Hashem, Kakudash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well, being great as them, such younger brothers, and peace and blessing, throw full leg, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. All right, I'm the brother Kodar from the G Men's Bench from Chicago. Come back another video. All right, it's uh, gonna be like a, uh, guess, uh, well, I guess you could say testimony or whatnot, but you know, um, you know, you know, I was at the workplace, you know, I won't go into, you know, uh, uh, what I do or whatnot, but you know, I heard a conversation where I was, I was in a meeting, you know, with, uh, you know, one of the represent one of the representatives of our company. All right, you know, it was uh, me, my manager, you know, and a representative. All right, and um, you know, I'm fairly new to the to the company and, and new to the uh, to the to the profession as well. You know, so whenever things like this come, you know, come by, I'm all ears. You know, just being a sponge and whatnot. You know, same same thing for the truth. All right, we um, hey, we got the wisdom for a reason, man. All right, so you know, I'm just listening to the conversation, hardly saying anything. All right, you know, and um. Uh, what was brought up was the AT and T shutdown. All right, and one of the, the representatives he mentioned that his phone was in AT and T. All right, and my uh, manager said his was as well. All right, and he was all right out of town. All right, and uh, he said he had the SOS. All right, you know, and um, a lot of people in that day had the SOS on their phone, man. All right, and the conversation led to, you know, how. AT&T used the excuse that it was an update that messed up their system that caused their their whole network to go down. All right. And, um, you know, of course, it, nobody's believing that shit. All right. You know, and one of the representative, he said, all right, it had to it, it was it had to be someone from the inside. All right. Because a failed update doesn't make any sense. All right. And a, a update doesn't make any sense at all. All right. It had to be someone from the inside. All right. He also mentioned. All right, that'll be the easiest thing. All right, <laughs> a, a shutting down a grid. All right, he said that'll be the easiest thing to uh, to uh, jack people up. All right, you know, and the reason, you know, I meant to make this video like a week or two back. You know, but uh, you know, things happen. All right, and what brought it back was the uh, they had the social media went down today the social media sites facebook and um and instagram i don't think x brought was brought down today but uh, it was uh facebook and instagram all right and um when you get back on it after it went up all right it started working again these people are, are totally panicking all right and it just shows you <laughs> how the, these people are are finished man all right and we've been giving that warning out there all right, hey, once these lights go off, it's, it's over, man. The elder Adama from the Boston, all right, made a, a very edifying lesson today. All right, he said, uh, I believe it was entitled, the, the first 72 hours is the most crucial. All right, because you got Esau and his scientists, you know, they, they, they do their research on when shit hit the fan and whatnot, when all hell break loose. All right, what's the most crucial hours? And they said the first 72 hours. All right. And uh, the the elder gave a perfect analogy. I'm gonna try to word it correctly. Um, may the spirit, may the Lord remind me. Um, it, was, it was like a high gate and a, and a low gate. All right, the low gate is like the uh, the corner stores. People are gonna be rushing into the corner stores. All right, and once they clear that out, all right, they 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 finish their resources and all that. All right, they gonna need more, so they gonna have to go up in people's houses, man. All right, that's the more risky one, the high gate. All right, and these are the times that are coming, man. We've been prophesying this for the longest, man. All right, starting with our apostles on down. All right. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right, for sword and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, for there shall be sedition among men, 
and invading one another, all right, sedition goes into an uh, uproar against your government, all right? Rebellion against your government, standing up against your government, man. All right? And that modern-day sword is the gun. All right, it's going to be division on every side, man. All right, you look at the... You look at America, shit, really the world, all right, but especially America, everyone is divided, man, all right, and, 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 and that's all the Lord's doing, man, all right, it says one people shall stand up to fight against another, all right, so these people are going to go buck wild out here, man, it says, um, for there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. All right. Hey, so if you a celebrity in that day, that won't matter, man. All right. You're getting thrust through. All right. You are getting uh, spoiled. All right. It says in the course of their actions, they'll stand in their power. Hey, so these people are going to do whatever the hell they want to do, man. All right. There will be no 911 to be called, man. All right. Hey, <laughs> Hey, these people, they, these, these officers, man, they don't get paid enough in the first place, man. All right, nor is it enough of them. All right, here, in a, you, know, in a, you know, in the city of Chicago, man, they're recruiting from different states. All right, but <laughs> no one wants to join the police force, man. No one wants to join the U.S. military. All right. Hey, shit, sooner or later, 911 going to need 911, man. All right, it says, uh, in the course of their actions, shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right. Different cities will be blocked off. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. That man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. All right. Hey, hey uh, you know, like the elder said in the video, hey, you had a probably had a friend you was cool with for. Uh, for five, ten years. Hey, and that day, he ain't gonna have no pity on you, man. All right, a perfect example was leave the world behind. All right, the guy was very, uh, good friends, you know, from what he said in a movie with the guy, with the Edomite dude. All right, he pulled up to his house, and, you know, the guy met him out with a shotgun. All right, he eventually let him in, of course. But, um, you know, that was just a movie. All right, hey, there will be no pity in that day, man. Does save the Bible, man. Does save the Lord. All right. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. All right. So they're going to take their shit. They're going to strong arm them, man. And this is what's going this, this is what, what's gonna happen, man. It says because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. All right. I remember the, the Purge movie. I forgot which one. I believe it was the first one. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. All right. But um, <clears throat> I believe it was the guy in the corner store. All right, and a, and, a, and a wife, all right, and a mother and a daughter, you just treat him like an asshole, man. All right? You know, when, when all hell break loose, he, he, he went straight to them. All right? And he said, it's my turn now, man. Hey, th that's the spirit that these people are going to come in, man. Yeah, this is why it's, it's, it's uh, uh, this is why the Lord said to seek me early, man. All right? Because those... Who, who don't turn to the Lord will have no covering, man. All right. Matter of fact, um, let me grab it. Uh, let me grab it in here. This is Job. Twenty one. Just Job twenty one and thirty. That the wicked is reserved to the day of the, uh, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. All right. So the wicked, that's the 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 uh, the, the hell. All right. That the Lord is bringing on this earth. All right. That's for the wicked man. The destruction, the plagues. All right. And the ultimate plague is the missile. That is for the wicked. All right. That is made, that's their tailor-made destruction, man. <laughs> All right? The Lord about to do a whole new reset. These niggas got to be born back in the kingdom, man. All right? Esau got to be taken down. All right? That's why the Lord is doing this, man. All right? And to deliver the elect of his people, man. 
All right. And that's why the, the scripture says in Isaiah 33 and 6, hey, because it's benefits to serving the Lord, man. All right. It's benefits to repenting early. All right. It's Isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at thy times and strength and self of strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. It says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. All right. So the elect. All right. Lord, when we be a part of that number, we're striving to be of that number. All right. We're going to be we're, we're going to be saying the Lord is going to deal with us, man. And the Lord shows it now. All right. Because even though we're in the you know, in a fire, we're catching our hell as well. All right. These th these niggas are through. All right. These niggas catching it even bad, man. All right. And they have no hope for the why. So they don't even have a, a, a mental relief for it, man. All right. Hey, but even when the Lord jack us up as men, as, 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 as his servants, he still shows mercy in that, man. All right. So we really haven't uh, we really don't have much to complain about, man. All right, when we start seeing this wild shit going on, man, hey, the Lord have, has uh, uh, gotten us ready, man. All these years, he's gotten us ready through the spirit, all right, like a spiritual boot camp, man. All right, yeah, we've been catching our hell, all right, hey, but the Lord is also building up a manly spirit in us, man, and the Lord is going to guide us in that day and feed us, man. All right, we're not worried about what we're going to wear, what we're going to eat, all right, the scriptures say that, all right. We gonna be as pilgrims on earth. We gonna be on the move, man. We out, and the Lord is gonna deal, man. I'll read it one more time. It says, "And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength is of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man." All right, and you know it's, it's good to watch different movies like Bushwick, you know, Book of Eli, and, and things and whatnot, because it get your mind prepared of what's going on, or what's about to go down, man. See, these people have no clue. They'll be blindsided, man. All right, like a football player when he get hit and blindsided, all right, or a fighter get hit, all right, and his blindside, he's gonna go out, man. But if you have time to brace it, all right, you have a better chance, all right, uh, of taking that blow, man. All right, this is um Proverbs. One and I'm gonna start at twenty. It says, "Wisdom crieth for doubt; she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in a chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates, in the city. She uttereth her words, saying, All right, and that's the men of the Lord. All right, going out to the highways and the byways, man. All right, it says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you." I will make known my words unto you because I have called and he refused. All right. Hey, our people have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded me. Hey, our people. All right. The Lord is stretching out his hand with, through his prophets, man. All right. And, and these people are spiritually slapping it. All right. Here it is. These people have shit all over them, man. We, we got the water. All right. We got the soap. They, they they kicking it right out of our hand, man. We got the bucket of water and the soap. They kicking it right out of our hand, man. All right, laying it laying laying down on the dirt and rolling like some pigs, man. All right, it says, but ye have set enough on my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, man. All right, hey, the Lord gonna put a special a special type of spirit on his men, man, to see those things and laugh at them, man. All right. Because you can imagine some degree, seeing some gruesome shit. All right, the Lord putting the spirit on us to laugh, man. All right? Because the yes, these niggas deserve that shit, man. All right, hey, right now you'll be like, damn. All right? Hey, but the Lord going to put us to a different type of spirit on us, man. It says, verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right, that's when niggas gonna want to get right. 
All right, it says, For that they hated knowledge, did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, man. All right, hey, the Lord going to give them what the fuck they want, and all right? And, they, and that shit is going to uh, devour them, man. All right, they're going to eat the fruit of their own way. All right? Whatever the fuck they love, man, that's, that, that shit is going to be to their downfall, man. All right, I believe it says the same thing in Jeremiah 6. All right, this is uh, verse 20, 32. It says, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fool shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely. All right, like I said, it's benefits to serving the Lord. And shall be quiet from fear of evil, man. All right? Yeah, you're going to eat, you're going to drink, you're going to be uh, 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 covered, man. By Yahweh Hashem All right? Hey, so, um, Lord willing, that was an edifying video. All right, we want to give all, I want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shai, Hashem Kapodash, the ones to the Apostle Elders, Great Millstone. Lord willing, this is an edifying video. All right, we just, um, you know, keep, you, got, you know, got to keep that watch out, man. All right? Stay on our post. All right. Shalom and Kwame Asharala.